Shalom. Call Hello, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaha, Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Now, more so than ever, to the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird among the heathen nations, that look like the heathen nations. And to the Akwaf that are listening and learning, to you I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago. Coming at you with another lesson in truth. And this was a video that the beloved elder brother, Yashua Wamba, sent me. And um, after watching it, I mean, I just got so enraged. All right? Because, you know, and then it's got the, the nerve to be sick, to be called, let's get biblical. When there's nothing biblical uh, about this false, fake, emotional rant that this this demon goes on, all right? And um, with this whole black thing, all right? There's no such thing as black people. And it's not black Hebrew Israelites. It's Hebrew Israelites, all right? You know, it's like Jake, especially Judah, is so in love with that evil word. You know, that word is witchcraft, man. Black does not mean beautiful. It means everything bad. That's why they labeled you that. They made it up, just like they made up white people, right? White being associated with purity, black being associated with evil. So they labeled you black when you're really brown. Even this woman is a chocolate brown, right? With somebody else's hair on her head. She need to shut up, all right? So I'm going to let this this video play and then I'm going to stop her and correct her with scripture as we go along to her foolishness, to her ignorance, to her stupidity, which is the Christian church. All right. And the people that follow this garbage, the name of the video is black Hebrew Israelites are destroying marriage with a broken heart. Okay. So without any further ado, the stomach, this madness. And I have to be honest, this is very difficult. Let, and me I, go, hey, let me go all the way back. And I have to be honest, this is very difficult. And I was really hoping I could get through this without ever being honest about this part. That my brother is a black Hebrew Israelite. No, you should be crying because you're a damn Christian. And when you, her, her, she, she almost looked like she wants to laugh, though she's faking like she's crying. But let's go. And in the teaching... I'm so bad and negative. You are. As a black Christian woman preacher who has been. Stop. He said, she said in the teaching, she's a bad person. As a black uh, Christian teacher, as a pastor, you know. Okay. So let's, let's see what the scripture says. All right. Let's see what the scripture says. Let's go to. Uh. 1 Corinthians 14, and it'll start about 33, 34. Let me see. It says, uh, For God is not the author of confusion, but peace, as in all the churches of the saints. So where the Israelites are there. So the churches were for the Israelites. All right? Those who, those who the saints are, the Israelites. Okay? Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted to them to speak, but they are commanded to be under under obedience. It's also say of the law, all right? And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for a woman to speak in church. That's why your brother told you to STFU, okay? That's why he told you, because it's not permitted for you to teach, but see, Christian church under this so-called white man, as she's going to say, uh, has given women uh, this authority and, 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 this, and this power that God never intended for them to have. All right. So the Lord says for the women not to speak in the churches. OK, let's get one more to back that up. Which is in first Timothy. Because they, they do this and then direct disobedience of the, of, the, of the word of the Lord, these women. 
and these institutions that give them the papers and documents, you know, the credentials to, to do this madness, to do this wickedness. But this is 1 Timothy 2 and, um, and 10. It says, but which becometh a woman professing godliness, godliness with good works. She's professing that she's godly, all right? Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer a woman not to teach, nor to usurp the authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve, all right? And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgression. So once again, the Lord never intended for women to teach in the church. The woman is supposed to teach at home the young children and the younger women how to be under subjection under their husbands. That's the way the Lord set it up. And marriage is not a license and a piece of paper. Marriage is, is, is basically when a man goes into a virgin, all right, who has never been touched before, that's marriage. Genesis 24, 67. Go read the scripture. Okay, but let's let her speak a little more. Associate pastor, that we can't have a relationship. So he cut her off. Because she's disregarding the Lord's word. So the very religion that tells you about how white men destroy families. Is destroying my and Christianity destroyed all of us. Destroyed our people. Let's go. Oh, the, man, this woman is, is wicked. And trying to pretend like she's so hurt. Okay. And I know her brothers, you know, told her. But this is Matthew 10 and, uh, and 34. Now, this is in red. This is the Lord speaking. All right. As a matter of fact, the whole Bible is the Lord speaking. For the word became flesh. This is the word of, of, of the Lord right here. All right. But this is Matthew 10 and 34. And it reads, think not that I have come to send peace on earth, but I came, I, I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. All right. So there it is. He that loveth a father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. So basically, if you want to put your family before the word of God, you're not worthy of the father. You're not worthy of Yahweh. All right. I hope that uh, little Miss Fake Crying here uh, sees this this uh, uh, this video and take heed, you know, to these scriptures that are being read. All right. When he cannot acknowledge his birthday. And my mama. And come, there come the simp, the coon, to give tissue to the assistant pastor. Well, we just saw what the word of God said about that. But, you know, they don't really acknowledge what's in the Bible. If you notice. Lay down and birth him, risking her life having twins. When he can't. So there, there's a glorify the woman in birth. When the Lord set up, made it, that's the way the Lord set it up. All right. It's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing short of a miracle. I mean, it's, it's, it's no miracle in birth. It happens every day, all day, every day. And women were designed to have children. All right. And if you die doing it, that's because the Lord passed judgment on you. As simple as that. Have a relationship with his own black mama. It, it black. There you go. So the ignorance and stupidity is just, oh, I'm so tired of Jake. I'm so tired of them. All right. But he spends his time telling others how white men are tearing apart his family. So she's a, so basically she's a, trying to appeal to, to uh, sensitive talk points and appeal to emotion rather than appeal to <clears throat> the truth. Well, let's see what the Lord has to say about birthdays. This is uh, the 
the book of Ecclesiastes 7 and 8. And it reads, Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. All right? And the patience in the spirit is better than the proud in the spirit. So it's better to be dead than it is to be alive, basically. And the reason he's saying that is because every day that we're here on this planet, we're not in our kingdom. And we're subject to payments. We're, we're basically living in hell. And, 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 and many of our people are too stupid to even realize that. That we're oppressed all the day long. This place really is hell. The water is 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 defiled. The air is defiled. The food is defiled. All right. Women are defiled. Men are defiled. All right. We're taught we're taught nothing but lies. Christianity is is a is a plague. Is is a, is a, is a disease. All right. Christianity is really is it should be called anti uh, uh, Christianity because it's an, Christianity truly is antichrist. Anything that's against the Lord, all right, because the Bible is, is not a book for Christians. The Bible is a book for the Israelites. And the, and the religion of Christianity is made up in the book. And the religion of Christianity does not go with what, with, with what the Bible teaches at all. That's why you have having this, this conflict right here, right now. Okay, let's grab one more scripture. Because we're done listening to her, her bullshit. You know, trying to... Uh, with these loaded statements that she's saying to appeal to the emotions of the people. All right. This is Job three and three. All right. The Lord did not acknowledge this. There's no custom among the, the, the children, the chosen of the Lord uh, with, with, uh, you know, uh, with worshiping on your birthday. This is Job three and three. Let the day perish when I was born and the night which it was said, there is a man shall conceive. Let that day be darkness. Let not God regard it from above. Neither let the light shine upon it. Let darkness and the shadow of death stain it. Let a cloud dwell upon it. Let blackness, you see, and the day terrify it. But there's nothing good about being black, especially when you're, your skin is brown, idiot. Let's jump down to verse 13. For now should I have laying still and been quiet, still birth. He'd rather died at birth. I should have slept. Then I had been at rest, right? Because when it talks, matter of fact, let's go to Wisdom of Solomon. We'll shut it down. Because he, he, he talked about the peace that came with sleep, man. And I'm thoroughly convinced babies come into this world crying because they realize they're not in the kingdom yet. It's like, damn, this, this shit again. This is a Wisdom of Solomon um, seven, and I'm gonna start at verse one, and it says, "And I myself also am a mortal man, like to all and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth." All right, and in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in a time of ten months, being conceived in blood of the seed of man. There's no such thing as a virgin birth, which she will falsely teach. There is, and people like her. All right, and it says. And when I was born, I drew in common air and fell upon the earth, which is of like nature, and that the first voice which I uttered was crying, as all others do. And I was nursed in swaddling clothes, and that with cares, for there is no king that had any other beginning of birth, all right, including the king of, of kings. Everyone came into the earth that way, all right? And, and, and when you go back to verse 2, he says, and in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in a time of 10 months, being compacted, compacted in blood of the seed of man, the pleasure that came with sleep. All right. Just like the rest that you get when you're in the spirit world. All right. What they ignorantly call heaven. OK. Remember when uh, when Samuel raised. Uh, 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 I mean, when uh, um, not Samuel, but when. Um, when Saul had Samuel raised from the dead to question him about why the father wasn't dealing with him, um, he uh, uh, Samuel said, why did you disturb my sleep? Because he was peacefully resting in the spirit world. All right. So it's better. So until the kingdom of heavens, heaven comes, there is no joy in being on this this wicked place. 
where people have dominion over you and over your body. They can make you put stuff in your body you don't want to put there. Or you can't work. You can't. They can take all your money before you even make it and, 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 and just do all manner of wickedness to you. All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, all honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukaha, Kwadash, Wa Ababa, Kwam Yasurala, Shalom.